Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Before You Buy, where I give you a full rundown of soccer cleat releases brought to you by me, Kevin. Today we have the Adidas Copa Mundial to go over, so let's get right into it. Now, it may be hard to believe, but these actually released back in 1982 and were made to be in the spotlight for the World Cup in Spain. That's why these are called Copa Mundials, which translates to World Cup. Since then, the Copa Mundials have stayed true to its original design and deliver the same thing it's been delivering since its inception a K-leather upper, and a comfortable sole plate. It's crazy to think these haven't changed in the slightest for over 40 years and are produced in their Germany factory to this day. In terms of the upper, it's made up of K-leather from heel to toe. I point this out because some brands experiment with adding synthetic material on some parts of the cleat here and there, but this is as traditional as it gets. K-leather from top to bottom, left to right, up and down. In terms of the sole plate, this is the classic 12 stud system balanced to give you a very comfortable ride. Remember, these were designed 40 plus years ago, so at the time, I assumed they were mainly looking to give you a product that would provide stability and a pleasant experience, which it does deliver. In terms of fit, these wrap your feet pretty nicely. The toe box is a bit narrow, but I don't mind since I do have small feet. Judging by the initial fit and feel, I would say these probably would take only about a week to break in. These are some of the most comfortable cleats right out of the box that I've ever put on. If you're looking to trying out a pair for yourself, I would recommend going true to size on these. I normally wear a size 8 US and the ones on my feet now are a size 8 US. Now let's review the biggest win and loss of these cleats. The win here is that this cleat was clearly ahead of its time and it continues to be a great seller for Adidas because it keeps delivering what it once promised over 40 years ago. In fact, it took me a few days to find them in my size since it's still a very popular cleat. The biggest loss in my opinion is that it would be nice to get these with an updated sole plate. I know that the Copa Pure is what you should buy if you want the modern interpretation but i think an updated sole plate with this upper would be very cool to see that's the adidas copa mundial for you i'll leave a few links in the description in case you're interested in buying these if you have any questions or opinions about these leave them down below and i'll answer them as they come thank you so much for watching and if you found this video helpful and you enjoyed yourself please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe i do have other reviews as well as tips and tricks on my channel to help you pick out your next pair of cleats so please be sure to check those out as well See you on the next one.